Kimono Dragon. Hey, this is the Kimono Dragon. Before we get into today's topic, please go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button. That way you will be directly responsible for helping me build this channel and I can bring you more content. Last weekend we got Disney's D23 celebration and with that celebration we got a lot more insight into Marvel Phase 4. In particular we got the new shows that are going to be showing up on Disney Plus. Now we already got some shows before that they talked about like Loki. Um, we knew we were getting a Wanda Vision show. Uh, we knew we were getting a Falcon and Winter Soldier show. But there's some new shows that they announced that I kind of called. If you looked at my other videos, I called three of these characters. So the first one I want to talk about is Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel. I'll leave a link at the end of this video so you can go back and check out my Miss Marvel video I did about a month or so ago. Basically, she can change the shape of her body at will, kind of like Mr. Fantastic, but she does have the addition of a healing factor. And I wanted to point out that these shows, unlike Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and the shows that were on Netflix, these shows on Disney Plus are going to tie directly into the Marvel continuity, the MCU continuity, the films. So there's going to be a lot more riding, a lot more at stake in these shows and we're also going to be able to see a lot more characters show up in these shows so I, i'm i'm hyped i know you are i'm hyped and i'm willing to bet that we'll end up seeing like squirrel girl and miss america they'll show up on kamala khan's miss marvel show i guarantee you they'll show up on that show watch I, and i'll come back to tell you i told you that another surprise announcement that i was excited about is she hulk jennifer walters is finally getting her own live show so I don't have to explain who she is. I did do a video on her. Um, she's the cousin of Bruce Banner, Jennifer Walters. She took a blood infusion from the Hulk when she was about to die from a gunshot wound. And now she, she gets power similar to the Hulk due to the gamma radiated blood. Um, she's not as strong as the Hulk, but she's very, very powerful. Um, she's taken out very strong characters in the comic book history. So it's gonna be good to see her in live action form. Um, there's no information on who's gonna play her but uh, they did announce that there's gonna be a show, so we have that, so that's gonna be exciting to see. Just to see the characters they bring in to have her fight is gonna be dope. Next up is Moon Knight, Mark Spector. And I, I just did a video on Mark Spector and I said he was probably gonna show up and here he is. And he's similar to Batman in a lot of ways, but he will kill you, so that's one thing that he has over Batman. But there's not much that we know about this show either, but I'm gonna keep my eye on that, and I'm very excited about this lineup. I, I don't know about you guys, but we are experiencing the freaking comic book renaissance right now, so it's very, very exciting times to be a comic book fan. Also, we got a new look at the cast of The Eternals. The Eternals is gonna be a film and not a show on Disney+, Plus, but nonetheless, it's still exciting to see the cast because all before we only knew that Angelina Jolie was tied to the movie, and they threw in Keanu Reeves' name in there, but I don't believe that he's gonna be in it or else he'd been standing there on the stage there in his picture. Moving on. They also gave us more information on the What If series that Marvel's gonna be running on Disney streaming service. Uh, the Marvel What If is straight from the comic books. It's just wild scenarios that tell you alternate versions of stories that we already read. Um, in this picture here, they show Peggy Carter as Captain Britain. So that's probably one of the episodes we're gonna see. But um, when I find out more, I'll let you guys know. And you know, I said I wasn't going to talk about this, but damn it, I got to. Screw Sony, except the PlayStation people, whoever makes PlayStation, thanks, that's great. But Sony Pictures, you guys are assholes, and I don't know who at Marvel, whoever didn't have some balls, but man, why are we losing Spider-Man yet again? I mean, some people may be okay with this because there's a possibility we could get a Spider-Verse film. Whip the freaking do. What are they gonna do with it? You know what I mean? They're gonna ruin it, man. They're gonna put every villain. They're gonna do a movie with all the whole Sinister Six in there, watch. And they're gonna make it two hours. And it's gonna have everything thrown at you and, and there's gonna be no story. And, uh, am I ranting? Yes, I'm ranting. Why would you take Spider-Man? Because how much money did these movies make? Marvel wasn't making a penny off of those movies. They were only making money off of the merchandising, off of the toys. But no, Sony was like, yeah, we're just gonna take him back. We can do it. Venom was good. Yeah, we got Venom. No, you guys are clowns, Sony, thank you. Anyway, YouTube, I'm out.